10:30. I think perhaps it would be a, it would be fitting to start this with uh, observing two minutes silence in honor of the memory of uh, Swami Nigamalan, isn't that the name? Who uh, gave his life for the cause of the Ganga. So maybe do that. Welcome to this meeting. I hope more people will turn up. Uh, this is the second in a series on living rivers, dying rivers. It started with uh, some reflection on the fact that some of our rivers are not rivers anymore. And uh, some of them are sewers, some of them are poison. And I thought it would be a good idea to have a series of meetings once a month on different rivers in different parts of the country. Uh, and I do hope some people will at least speak not only about dying rivers, but also about living rivers. Uh, so we have uh, had the first meeting on the Ganga uh, was on the 10th, I think, 10th of June. And this is the second. The third one is on the 23rd of August on the rivers of Bihar, Kosi and Bakhmati. And then um, in September, we have uh, the northeastern river, Brahmaputra and other rivers by Chandan Mahanta and uh, Sanjay Hazarika. Then in October, there is a break. In November onwards, there are up to March, we have a series of programs. And I hope we will be able to derive benefit from this and draw some lessons. Uh, what we have been doing is, you know, we worship the rivers as divinities, but in practice, we abuse them. Uh, we, we stop their flows wherever possible. <coughs> we jacket them within embankments. We deprive them of their space. We uh, pollute them. We contaminate them. We may mine their sand. So we do everything possible to kill the rivers. And then we spend thousands of crores on trying to revive them, set up authorities, <laughs> conservation authorities, and so on. So I thought it would be worthwhile finding out why this happens and what can be done to first um, restore the rivers which are in decline and to see that the other rivers do not fall into the same state. So today we have the Yamuna. We have uh, two presentations. Manoj Mishra is a doughty campaigner for the Yamuna a former chief conservator of forest in Chhattisgarh who took voluntary retirement and then devoted himself to activism. <coughs> he, ha he has this organization called Yamuna Jiye Abhyan, which I think is fairly well known. Then you now head the Peace Institute. Uh, so that is his uh, background. And then we have the distinguished Professor Bridge Gopal, former professor of JNU, later Secretary General of the National Institute of Ecology, editor of the International Journal of Ecology. So we have two people from whom we can expect uh, an activist and an academic, a distinguished scholar, from whom we can expect uh, by stimulating presentations, material for discussion. So let me then begin with, shall I begin with Amaloji? Well, you want to, which would you prefer? 
Okay. Or you start. Let let academics come first and then we activate. Okay. I I, mean, I don't I don't mind whichever way it is. Good. 